Good morning, Tom Velarde here, Director of Golf, Black Mesa Golf Club. We're here today at the uh, first of our great par threes. As you can tell from back here, we're at the championship tee today. It's 203 yards from here to the green. Uh, looking at this green to the right side, there is a small depression, a little arroyo there that will catch shots. We've got a couple of bunkers here to our left. Uh, this hole can play up to 210 yards. My advice to the players here is to just try to get it into the front portion of this green. We've got a little catch area there just to the right of the green. That's going to catch that area and funnel down to the right side of the green. We're going to show you some different views of this golf hole because it's a tremendous hole. As we work our way to the player's left, you're going to see that the hole takes on a different character in life. Let's take a look at some of the other tees here. We've got our middle set of tee boxes here on our par 3. We've got anywhere from 175 to 164, 163 from the forward. As you can see, these are stair-stepped, so the closer you get, the more elevation you lose. Uh, from over there, we were hitting a 4-iron, the utility wood. From here, I'd hit probably a 6-iron. As we pan over to the left, you're going to see the farthest left set of tees for us. The distance between these tees is approximately 95 yards and we want to show you what this tee box looks like from the left because it's a pretty spectacular shot from over here. As you can see the further left we go the more this little point comes into play. From the far right side of the tee box I was hitting a four. From here I'm going to hit an easy nine iron. This hole is 155, 158 from here. What we'd like to do here is, once again, because we've got such a different angle at this, you can see that that catch basin on the right, which is pretty severe for the player, comes more into play. So we're going to take this 9-iron, try to hit it about 150 yards. This is a great design for a golf hole. We can hit anywhere from a long iron to a short iron. When you play here, pick the tee that best fits your eye. I suggest if you get a chance, come over and take a look at it. It's a great view. Let's go over and I'll show you something about the green. <clears throat> so here we are on the green. This green is multi-leveled. Slopes from the players back to front. As you can tell looking at this green, it's got a lot of movement to it. It's pretty gentle movement, but it does have movement. You can see that our short iron is here to the player's left, probably 25 feet. That longer shot is over here on the player's right. Oh, I'm guessing another 20 feet or so. The chipping here, as you can tell, this hillside is pretty much going to kick your golf balls back into play. I'm going to play this over to the right of this hole, probably six to seven feet. Pretty good. That'd be a pretty easy par. When you play this golf hole, See what the green gives you. Remember that around this golf hole are catch areas that's going to kick your ball back into play. When the pin is back, I always try to get into the middle, middle third of this green. They're pretty easy putts. When this pin is forward is where you're going to make the most birdies. This is a hole where when you make three, you walk away pretty happy. A great golf hole, great design, variety of options off the tee.